That's right. Are we rolling? Okay, cool. Name's Robert Heckman. I am a network engineer. I am super excited and proud of my children. Um, they are ages three and five, and they're just blossoming into their personalities, and it's an awesome thing to be able to watch and see. I believe it was a Colorado Rockies baseball game, um, and I don't believe we won, but I don't know. But chances are we didn't win. <laughs> I had to drive to a client that morning. On the way to drive to that client, there was somebody else who was stuck in the middle of the road. They had rear wheel drive. They were on a patch of ice and they couldn't get free. So I pulled over and I helped that individual push their car back on the road and get them going. After that, I arrived here at the office at Live Consulting. Uh, we worked that day and it was, it was snowing so bad, the owners decided it would be a partial day and let people go. Um, unfortunately, most of the people that worked here could not get out of the parking lot. So I then assisted my coworkers in getting their cars out of their parking lot. Um, while that was taking place, this random dog just showed up in our parking lot. Nobody knew where he came from, nobody knew where he belonged. Uh, and I opened the back door of my truck and he just hopped in like he owned it. So we looked at the collars, we looked at the tags, uh, the owner was very nearby. So I returned the dog back to their owner. And then I continued my journey on the way home. Just before I got home, my next door neighbor, his car was stuck in the street trying to pull into his driveway. So I parked my car, got out and I helped him push his car into his driveway. Um, and once we got his car situated, he asked me, uh, because of the weather and because his vehicle wasn't driving very well in the weather, if I could run him to the store so he could pick up some supplies. And I thought, sure, we can get this done. You know, we hopped in my car, we just went across the street uh, to a drugstore so he could pick up a few things. While we were at the drugstore, uh, a gentleman had a Porsche that was spun out and he was in a snowbank and this gentleman was in the store actually like wringing his socks out with water. Um, so I couldn't help it. I asked how far away he was and he was only a mile down the road. So I decided I'm gonna give this gentleman a ride home with my neighbor in the car and his supplies. Um, so we delivered that gentleman to his home um, and I came back, dropped my neighbor off and all of that got done in a day's work before I got home to see my family. Caramel vanilla drumsticks. No, negative. Absolutely not. And when I do, it's not pretty. It's not good. I like to fix things by nature. Uh, lawn mowers, air conditioners, washer dryers. There's a YouTube video for just about everything out there. Don't tell my wife that. She thinks I'm awesome. He's a vampire squid. Vampire squid is a bioluminescent squid that lives very deep in the ocean. It's not actually a squid or an octopus. And so I kind of relate. It doesn't really fit into one particular group or category. When it gets scared or threatened, it jets off shooting out a bioluminescent bio ink. And so kind of camouflaging itself, I can be a pretty recluse creature. I've been at clients more than once and they've asked me if I need the lights turned on. I don't even realize that the lights are turned off. <laughs> I work in the dark quite a bit. So yeah, I, I relate to the vampire squid. A picture of me with my grandfather. Um, I believe we took that picture at DIA on the way to Hawaii. Um, we took my grandfather back to Hawaii for the 75th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. Um, which he was actually there for the war, for the bombing, and it was a, um, it was an awesome trip. I learned a lot, and um, we'll never forget it. As a very young kid, um, I got to see the Beach Boys live uh, at a stadium in Omaha, and I thought it was pretty awesome. Once upon a time, 
I left live consulting and I found out that that saying, you never know what you have until it's gone, is really true. I came back to live consulting because the owners are solid leaders. The tools provided to me here are very cohesive. They work together. The employee base rallies and they push for goals. Um, it's just a well-oiled machine that's systematically put together and works and allows me the creativity to put my own touch, my own flair on the networks, which gives me job satisfaction. Love it here.